Hi, welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to do some um, basic Emacs usage. So here I've installed Emacs for my last tutorial under GNU Emacs 26.3, which I'm going to fire up. So when I do that, I get this window, um, which is kind of the default screen that Emacs shows you when you haven't done any custom configurations. And um, so you notice that here, you, you know, you have um, some, some menus. You have a help menu, and under the help menu, you see the first thing is the Emacs tutorial, which is uh, super useful. And I recommend that uh, everyone should should take the tutorial. You also have a link to the tutor tutorial down here. Um, I guess there's different languages for the tutorial. How cool! Let's take the tutorial in French. Wow, that's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, going back to English, you know, here, I resume your last save tutorial. Uh, no, let's start over from the beginning. So here we have uh, the Emacs tutorial. So um, the idea here is that the tutorial is supposed to give you kind of all of the basics that you need to use Emacs, which is this, you know, 50-year-old text editing system. And so all of the key combinations that you can use are going to be um, super efficient, but they're not going to be the ones that you're used to using in other programs. So here I'm just going to go through the first uh, couple of pages of the tutorial with you, and then I'll let you do the rest. So, um, so here it says, Emacs commands generally involve the control key, sometimes labeled you know, CTRL or CTL, or the meta key, sometimes labeled edit or alt. So on my keyboard, I'm looking down here and I have something that's labeled CTRL, that's my control key, and something that's labeled ALT, that's my uh, meta key. So rather than write that in full each time, we'll use the following abbreviation C and then some character means hold the control key while typing the character and M dash character means hold the meta key, or that is the alt key while typing the character. And so here already it gives you some um, it gives you some key commands. You can type Control X and Control C to end the Emacs session. So let's try that right now. Control X, Control C, and indeed that <laughs> ended our Emacs session. So let's go back into it. New Emacs tutorial um, and. Next one, it says to quit a partially entered command, you can type control G. And you notice in my screencast that you have this little uh, box up here. So when I actually am holding down the control key, it displays that. And then here, if I type a G, it says L control G, which means I press, I was holding down the left control key and I typed a G. It says to stop the tutorial, type control X, then K then return at the prompt. So let's try that. Control X, then K, and then return. And here it asks at the bottom, save your position in the tutorial. And here's Y or N. And so here I'm going to type uh, N, because I don't need to save the position. And here we go back to the main screen. OK, let's go back into the tutorial. Resume your last save tutorial. Here it doesn't matter really if I say yes or no. Going back down to stop the tutorial, uh, type C, uh, control X, K, then return. We just did that. And the characters uh, greater than, greater than on the left margin indicate directions for you to try using the command. For instance, now type control V, which is view next screen to scroll down in the tutorial. Go ahead, do it by holding down the control key while typing V. From now on, please do this whenever you eat, reach the end of the screen. OK, so let's try that. Con type, hold down the Control v key and type a V. And here we get down to the next screen. Um, notice that there's an overlap of two lines. When you scroll a whole screen full, this provides some continuity so you can continue reading the text. And so here the next command is um, try typing meta V and then control V a few times. So it says here, you already know how to move forward one screen, that's control V. To move backwards one screen, type meta V. And so that's 
Alt-V for people with modern keyboards. So Alt-V gets me back to the first screen. Control-V gets me down another one. Control-V again, that gets me down a, a, a new one. And then I can do Meta-V a couple times to get back to the beginning. And if I do Meta-V at the very top, it's just going to ring a bell because that can't go up anymore. Anyway, so this is the Emacs tutorial. It's kind of silly, I guess. You're like, well, why do I have to learn these these funny control uh, sequences? You know, it, you know, I'm typing Control V here to scroll down one page, but I could have just pressed the page down button, right? And so, actually, I think that does work in Emacs. Page up, you go up one page. Page down, you go down one page. If you have that key on your keyboard, but you know, sometimes, like for example, if you're on a laptop, you might not have the page up, page down key. And uh, moreover, you know, if your fingers are in the home row, you know, that is A, S, D, F, J, K, L, semicolon, then it's not super convenient to go all the way over to page up, page down, right? It's a lot easier to just, um, you know, hit the Alt key and then V, or the Control key and then V, right? So that's, so that's the basic idea about the Emacs. You know, there's all of these funny, uh, key sequences to learn, but the goal is that you're going to um, have a bunch of key sequences are, which are really close for your fingers to the home row, and so you're going to be able to very rapidly navigate through the text and perform the edits that you need into, in your code. So it definitely is worth it to go through all of the tutorial and learn all of these funny key combinations because they're super useful and they result in huge speed ups and productivity gains. I've been using Emacs for years now and they, they eventually become quite natural. So uh, please uh, take the time to go through the rest of the tutorial. It should take you only about like a half hour, hour to go through the whole thing. And I recommend that once you've gone through it once, go back to it. You know, every month try to take it again because you might be, you know, forgetting that there's some key sequences that are super useful and that you're not using on a regular basis. Okay, so thanks for listening. That was uh, the Emacs tutorial, and see you next time.